Hello and welcome to another video during quite the heat wave. So if my hair is on the fritz, if I'm on the fritz, I blame the weather, okay? But in today's video, it's kind of long awaited, it's at least long awaited for me, and it is the Pop Mart, the newest series uh, of Prisoner of Azkaban. So Pop Mart has done, if I recall correctly, three of the movies slash books. Um, the first two and now Prisoner of Azkaban. And let me tell you, um, my little order finger was ready right away, okay? I saw this, we saw this, because um, my husband's joining us, uh, and he might be doing that more often. Um, we saw this on the site, like basically, I think it said when it was going to be available, or it wasn't available, it said it when it was going to be available. And it was going to be the next day at like around 7 p.m. So we were there at 7 p.m. and we ordered that sucker. Well, for some reason, living on the West Coast brings its challenges, even though it's a really pretty place to be, and we love being here. Um, because every time things get to California, they just get held up, and it sat there for a week in California with no update. But there are worse things in life, like, I don't know, fires in Hawaii, okay? So I will be grateful that it has arrived, and I am here to unbox it with you. And it is the complete set, and we're dropping things. What, are there ghosts here? We're getting it up into Halloween real soon here. So, alrighty, before we unbox this, yeah, complete set, like I was saying, but before we unbox this, if you're new here and you want to be a part of a community, why do I do that every time? That believes weird is wonderful and magic is real, then hit that subscribe button down below and be notified every time there's a new weird video. Oh, let's get into the cuteness. Let's see what we got here. Okay, for starters, we have to talk about the art with Pop Mart. Um, Pop Mart's art is so pretty. I was just looking at this, so we've got Harry. I will mention, I haven't really been spoiled on this. When the new Pop Marts arrive, um, they don't show every character in the first image. So I got a glance at Harry, and we are obviously getting a glance at him right now, looking real cute. He's reading a book, he's got a light, but I love that a Dementor is like encapsulating the whole scene. And that really kind of <laughs> highlights something that my husband said about this because he did see this whole collection because I had him take a look to make sure we wanted to order it because we don't just order every single thing that something puts, you know, a company puts out, a series puts out. We're just not them kind of people, okay? Nothing wrong with that. Um, and he looked at all of it and one of the things he said is, because he really, really likes it. I obviously have only seen one, we're gonna unbox them is he had mentioned that it gives him almost Tim burton -y vibes <laughs> as far as like cute meets creepy. And that does make sense with the turn that Prisoner of Azkaban takes. So let's start unboxing these things. Like I said, I've only seen Harry. I do know they are shown on the side here, so I'm gonna make sure not to look at that. So here's box one. I will also add, I've seen other people point this out because I'm learning this is a thing, but to know that this is an official thing, we have this little shiny business that Pop Mart puts on. And apparently like, is this the one where the P like moves around? It's kind of cool. Um, just to know you are official. All right, I love their pull tabs. They're so satisfying. Zoop. It's that proper like, Zip. I don't know what that was. Okay. Oh, we don't need scissors on this one. Look, Pop Mart thinks things through. Boxy one. What do we got? Oh, that's got to be Draco, right? So are there little, wait, hold on. Are there little bits that come with? There's a stand. Oh, we got Draco. Wait, why do I remember the scene? Oh, okay. First off, I can see what he means by Tim Burton. And you know what it is. Let me show him to you. This has got to be Draco. I'll pull out the card. Here's the first one. It's the eyes, I tell you. Eyes are where everything happens, really, okay? It's where you connect with people, but it's also where you can get real creepy. Look at, like, the red around the eyes. Like, he's been through some stuff. So his arm is wrapped. It's got the little sling around the back. And this, we would presume, is after he was, I was going to say, attacked. After he pro didn't properly introduce himself to Buckbeak and went in with a whole lot of ego and um, got himself injured. And he's got a little origami uh, swan that he's holding there. Pop Mart always has something little that they're holding or a little accessory. So that is his, and it does come with a stand. I mean, it says Pop Mart on the stand. Yeah, those eyes, very interesting. So much detail with Pop Mart. So there's the first one on the stand and then the card. I love the Dementor in the background. I'm so keen to see what they do for future series. And yes, we're gonna be watching them like a hawk um, and hoping that California, you know, comes through, okay? Box two. 
Zip. Who have we got? Oh, I, I'm gonna drop him. Oh, I can see who that is right now. Oh my god. <laughs> that is such a different take <laughs> of the Boggart Snape. It's the eyes. I'm assuming the eyes are gonna be the same on all of them. We've got the creep factor alive and kicking. I mean, the timing of this for Pop Mart uh, coming up on Halloween is just Chef's kiss. Okay, look at the look at the pants and his little cat wrap. Am I missing an accessory? Is there something in there? Ooh, there is. What do we got? Okay, I'll make sure to pull those out every time. So some of them aren't just a stand; they come with something. So, something. Um, what is it? Oh, it's the purse. I have the Boggart Snape as a Funko. I really like that version of Snape because it just softens him up a bit, you know? Poor Snape, he's been through a lot and he, uh, you know, he goes through a lot at the end as well. Can we, how do we hook this? Oh, there we go. Well, at least that fits in there nice and snug. So let's put him on his stand. These are such a nice quality. Like they have a nice heaviness to them. There's always so much detail. And then here's the back of Snape. I love his posture, like he's like, oh, I can't believe you did this to me. Okay, we've got Snape, we've got Draco. Where did I put Draco? And then the card for Snape it looks like so. It looks like him as the card would. Box three. Ooh, oh, oh, look at that hat, that's so cute. Well, if we have George, okay, let me show him to you. And then I see there's an accessory. I love the hat. He's got a snowball in hand. His hand is open. Like, is he gonna be holding something else? Oh, he is. Okay, we've got two accessories with George. And they come in this plastic bag. I don't think I've been showing that. I know that's super important. Um, he's got a wand. I figured if his hand is slightly open, then they're putting something in it. This might sound weird, but I really like the feel of these figures too. All right, wand in hand, and then, oh, the cuteness is, is up. We've got a little snowman. Do you want to build a snowman? George does. <laughs> okay, put him on the stand. I love this. Pop Mart, um, kind of like I recently opened a Beast Kingdom one for my other channel. They both do like this like in movement um, action, a very an action like you're in a scene he's doing something he's got a snowman he's got his wand ready he's up to mischief you know it's george okay george draco snapey snapey what's next box four okay let's make sure we get any accessories well that must be fred must that's a good that's a good that's a good pull for the next one we have got fred and he has, let's see, ooh, it's not a wand. He's got a little snowman too. You know, the snowman has got to have a friend. Very cute. And then, instead of a wand, here, let me put it in his hand first. Oh, cute. Actually, I'll show you because I would like to show the thought that they put in to make sure these things fit. In his hand, there's a little hole. And then we have the Marauder's Map, which has a little, like, little nubby situation to put in the hole. Okay, so here it is, proper. So you don't actually see it, he's holding it, but you can see it on the side. How cool is that? I don't think we've come across a figure where, like, they hold something and it's um, attached in that way. And the card for Fred is right here. Oh, and the other thing that I'm wondering is, um, in the previous one, it was the, the it had a mystery item that you can get and it was the front of the Hogwarts Express and I'm wondering if this one has like one that you can get if you get this golden ticket why am I pulling another one out when I've pulled this one out okay box five what you don't see is what a mess this is creating all right who are we it's a lot of feels like a female not a female sorry Lupin okay <laughs> no that's not Lupin Far from Lupin. It is, oh my God, what is his name? Peter Pettigrew. Ooh, he is creepy. Which ones did you think I would like? He said that there were gonna be ones, he's like, I know you're gonna like these. Cause so, well, no, don't tell me the others, but is this one of them? Cause I like this one. Uh, no, it was not, but. He's so funny looking. <laughs> Wait, is there any other accessory? I think it's just that. Look at Peter Pettigrew. I don't think we've got a Peter Pettigrew figure like, 
there's just not much Peter Pettigrew figure representation. I'm pretty sure there's a Funko. If there is, I haven't gotten it yet. Probably should get that for Halloween. Um, he's holding, let's see. Oh, he has a wand. I didn't see that one. Very grateful they put these in the little plastic things or it would be lost to me. So it's like the Marauder's Map, but just where it says Peter Pettigrew and it's got two little footprints on it. So that's cool. It's a different kind of stand. We want to separate the evil, you know? So we put him on there and there he is trying to cast the magic. He's cool. I really like him. I'm going to tell you right now from the one figure that I saw, which was Harry. I wasn't sure if I was going to like this collection and I like, sorry, I mean, you deserve it, but <laughs> I like cute meets, meets creepy, but I think I'm, I'm, I have a hard time with change. Um, and when I noticed that it was slightly a, a bit of a deviation, are we missing? Let's get the card. It was a bit of a deviation from the previous two as far as art style, even though I think they're all different, but we really, we went into creepy territory, which kind of makes me excited for the next one. Like, like we going full on creepy in the next one. Here's his card, Mr. Peter Pettigrew. Let me just double check that he stands up well. We might stand him in front. He doesn't stand up super well. Okay, what are we at? Five, six, box six. Oh, it like dented that one. What do we got? I like showing you guys first. Okay. Oh, it's fuzzy. I like this. I watch some people where they dig into things and I'm like, just show me. But yeah, I kind of like the commentary. It's fuzzy. What are you? Oh, it's hairy. Oh, that is an interesting texture. Pop Mart makes cool things, I tell you. I, the cute and creepy kind of works for me. Oh, this is going up Halloween time, you guys. Okay, let me show you. Oh, he goes underneath it. That's so cool. So they did like the cake that they did on the uh, last one in the Hogwarts Express. Oh my God, what was that? Chamber of Secrets? Um, it's really cool, but that was his like actual uh, invisibility cloak, but it wasn't this like opaqueness and it wasn't over top him. Like he's, you know, like it shows in this thing while well, you already saw it. Here he is, sat underneath it, and it's got like, it felt like a, like a veil of some kind. Actually, I thought it was an animal, um, but he has. Oh, it is from the beginning of the movie when he's in his room. Yes. Okay, he's got two accessories and reading for that matter. So cool. Again, with Pop Mart, we get these scenes that we don't often get in other figures. I really, really like that. It's like they actually care about the fandom, okay? And the, and the material. He's got a little book. Oh, it's even got writing on it. What does it say? Extreme incantations. And it's even got like a little wizard showing the incantations on this tiny little thing, like to get detail. Sometimes we don't get that kind of detail on something so small. Is it just lay on his lap? Yeah. That's so cute. And he doesn't have a stand because he doesn't really need one. So here he is. How cute is he? The book rests nicely on his legs and the card is right here. Harry Potter. I'm running out of room. I'm really liking this. I wasn't sure you guys, I spent $200 on it. And then it's like previous crates where um, when they when they take, they get delayed too long and you're like, come on, now I'm really, I don't know if I'm gonna like it. <laughs> but Pop Mart's delivering. They are delivering. What have we here? Number seven, lucky number seven. Are you lucky? Is it a lucky character? Are you shaking your head? Ooh, now that is Lupin, yes? That is Lupin, I mean, it's got the mustache. I mean, it might be Hitler, but no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's definitely Lupin, okay? Do you have, so in the previous one, he had chocolate, but we don't want the same thing. What is this? Oh, okay. Did I show this well enough? Let me show him one more time. Look at that face. He's frightened, and I'll tell you why he's frightened. Really, really well made. Then he has his Boggart, which is, let me show you it first. I was gonna say a, a sun and moon. A uh, moon and clouds. Never seen anything like that. It comes with a little stand, which goes in like that, and stands up. That's what stands do. <laughs> So that's what he looks like. And then you've got that little stand next to him. That's really uh, like, it, not, I was gonna say inventive, but again, not quite been done before. 
and pulled from the movie. And here is the card. So they're showing it right next to him. They're not showing the stand, but. Okay, what number are we? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right, that was lucky number seven. Uh, Lubin doesn't have a lot of luck though. Here is eight. I'm really liking this. Okay. I'm gonna guess male or female. I'm gonna guess male. There, I mean, there are a lot more dudes than chicks. Let's be honest. Yeah. Oh my God, that is so cute. Wait, what is that? Is there something else in there? That's my hand. That is so cute. Look at this, Ronald Weasley, Holden Scabbers. We think that this is probably when Ron is protecting Scabbers because he still thinks he's good and they're in the Shrieking Shack. I mean, he wasn't sat in there, but they have, you know, their figures, they got to sort something out um, for them to sit or stand. And he's sitting on a seat, clutching Scabbers for dear life. Um, because uh, that's what I would. I wouldn't expect my my rat to be the devil. Uh, and here is, I, I'm going to set him up next to, uh, I was going to say Mad-Eye Moody. The human form of Scabbers, Peter, <laughs> who keeps falling over. And here is his card. I love the frightened look. Everybody is real frightened. The Dementors will do that to you, though. Okay, four boxes left. I don't know what the actual number is. I want to see the card. I'm really hoping a Dementor's in here, let's be real. I'm gonna guess not, we don't always get the real dark stuff. <clears throat> All right, male or We haven't got a female, is this Hermione? It is. Oh, she's frightened too. But she's not as frightened, she's got a little smirk on her face. You know why? Because she's got that time turner in her hands and she knows she can save herself a buck peak. You know? As well as, uh, my god. <laughs> the Godfather, what is his name? Am I a fan? Serious, thank you. She's got a smirk. She's still got that, like, she's been through some stuff um, situation, because, girl, to attend that many classes, I can't keep up with that. Um, so cute. The way they do the hair is so cute, and they do it very different every time. Oh, and it's got actual chain. That's an actual chain. What have we got? Have we got anything else in here? I don't think she would have any accessory, because she's holding something. Yeah. Let's put her on her stand. And she pops a lot more because of her color, but that is the color, um, cardigan, zip up, whatever you want to call it, that she was wearing in the film. And here is her card. So cute. Oh, I didn't show the back of the card. Also really cute. We're at the lake there. And is the Potronus back there? The Potronus? The Popo. <laughs> Three boxes left. <laughs> okay. Seriously, if Sirius, seriously, if Sirius Black is not in here. Oh my God, what? It, what? Oh my God, I love this. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. Did, wait, was he actually, okay, let me show you first. It's another Harry. Normally when there's another of the same character, I just go, why, 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 why? We don't need that many, but look at him. He's having a time. We gotta balance out the evil. Look at him. He looks like he's uh, like mid jump and I'll tell you why. I'll show him up close a little bit more, but he is mid jump because this is when the monster book of monsters is coming at him. This is so cool. I think, I feel like the monster book of the monsters is one of the few things I would have duplicates of and I kind of already do. So I'm wondering, is he meant to be stood on it? He is. Look at him, that is so cool. Oh, we gotta figure out where we're putting these things. Oh my God. Okay, he just pointed out, I did not notice it. This is why I have him in here. Um, do you see on the bottom? There is a shoe in the Monster Book of Monsters mouth. And, cause I was looking at him and I was like, why is, he, did, why is he just wearing one sock? That's why, look at it. He's got a sock on and a shoe on here. Oh my God, he's so cute. I like that. I don't mind a dupe on there. Um, and then here is his card, if you care for that. There's only two left. <sighs> Serious Black, I'm hoping for in a Dementor. I don't think we're gonna get a Dementor, so I'm trying to think of who else we would get. We got Fred and George, we've got Ron. What? Who? Who else? Who are you? Is this serious? It is! Ha! <laughs> is it, hold on, I think it's, uh, yeah, he wouldn't come with an accessory. Wow, this is, this is really embracing cute meets creepy. It is serious black on Buckbeak when he's being freed, you guys. Cause we gotta finish, you know, in the happy, in the happy place. I mean, he's still got he's still got some wear going on here because this poor man. But Buckbeak's Buckbeak's in a good place. 
He's doing a good deed. They're very cute. I love that he's like sat on something. I just like that there's variety. Some of them are on a stand, some of them sitting in a chair. Old Peter just doing whatever he wants to do. Okay, are we getting a Dementor? Who are we getting? I'm sure I'm gonna be fine with it because this has been exceeding my expectations. Um, even though I kind of have, not high expectations, but sa I'm satiated by Pop Mart. That's why I spend the money. Who are you, who are you? I'm gonna feel it. It doesn't feel like a Dementor. It's got a lot of hair. Wait, what is happening here? Who is this? Is this Trelawney? It is. Is there an accessory? Oh, there is. Oh, that makes sense. Oh, she's cute. Oh, she is just aghast. These are so cute. Look at her. She has got the Grimm in her hand. Do you see that teacup? That is so cute. Like printed on there. Again, on these smaller things, we normally miss the details. Pop Mart does not miss the details. I love the way the um, bandana, whatever you want to call it, flaps around. She is one that I have been wanting to cosplay and I might. Um, and then look at that hair, very cute. And it's got a different wave and a different color from Hermione. So they always change it up. Um, and she's just shooketh right now. She also has a little Prophecy Orb. Where's her stand? I am losing things. Does she have a stand? I don't know if she has a stand. She certainly is structured to stand on her own, but she has this Prophecy Orb right here. How cute are you? Oh, okay. Okay, where's that card? Oh, that was the last one, wasn't it? Here is the card for Professor Trelawney. So no Dementor. I would have liked a Dementor, but we can't win them all, but I think we kind of won them all. I really like all of them. Let me figure out what my favorites are. Okay, we did not get the special one, so there is a special one. I'm going to put an image up there. Just be warned if you do not want to know it and you want the mystery. It is Harry Potter and the Patronus. I don't know. I haven't actually seen it, so I'm going to see it when I watch back this video. <laughs> is it cool? Probably cool, they're all cool. So there it is, we did not get that. I was hoping by buying the whole box we would get whatever the extra one is, but alas, alas. Okay, let's do favorites. So his favorite are the twins right here. I like them a lot too. I like that they're, you know, I like their hats. I like their snowman. Um, I like the way the map fits into his hand and they're matching, but they're different. You can distinguish them. I think my favorite, I'm gonna pick two, is Harry. Jumping on the Monster Book of Monsters. And mm, I do like the Harry reading, but I'm gonna go with Ron, scared with scabbers. I also really like Lupin. I like the idea of that. I like the classic one that we are seeing on the, the backboard there. Oh my goodness, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, Draco tends to always be on the bottom, but I really like what they did with him. It's a different scene. I'm so excited to see what they do with the next one. What is that, Order of Phoenix? Um, but yeah, that is a wrap. Let me know in the comments down below what was your favorite Pop Mart Prisoner of Azkaban figure. Oh, I forgot about Peter. I really like Peter. He's up there too. Okay, I have a top three. I, I like them all. I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure if I was gonna like them. Pop Mart delivered. So let me know in those comments. But until next time, my magical friends, remember to love what you love with everything you have and keep making that magic. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.